Hello, this is me. Everyone feels that people who learn to give are actually doing a better job than people who receive. But sometimes people may not be able to give because they're not in a position to do so. So what is the one thing they can do to uplift their life or status and condition so that they can give to others in future? Well, they can first do not give yet, learn to receive. And this is the sixth chapter of Life Loves You by Louise Hay. And in this book, we will sh share about why learning to receive is a very important way of um, accepting that life actually loves you. So just to share a story, I was um, actually um, seeking the service of a healer a few years ago and in the process there was a free consultation offered to me. Because I did not want to feel indebted to the person, I actually paid for the consultation. And then after that she told me, you know, you are actually throwing the abundance back to the universe. That was totally confusing to me. I'm just compensating the time spent with me to the person and that was actually taken as a form, a way of um, a fear. So I don't know, don't really understand what's going on. So now I understand it a little bit better because there are three things we need to know. Firstly is that um, there's this already principle. So in our life, we are already blessed. We have all the things in this life that we need for the journey. And we just need to accept uh, the, the things that life offers to us. And secondly, we need to think beyond independence. So we always think independence is very good. We can do everything ourselves. But actually, there are two way, There are two forms of independence. One is the healthy independence, where creative force moves through you. The other one is this functional independence, where you really isolate yourself from everything else. So in the process, you become unloved. You become tired. So what you need to do is knock down this uh, wall, knock a hole in it, so to let love flow into your life so there are many doors that you can open you can open door to wisdom to healing to financial security and all that okay the third thing is actually um, being in, at the receiving end is letting go of a form of struggle so we when we are being um, receptive we are actually affirming that you know life actually loves us it is the psycho it's a very good form of psychotherapy where it actually dissolves barriers to love and when we do that they break down resistance to things like uh, healing it breaks down things to financial insecurities and all that so it helps us to be present and so we must always know the universe provides but we must be in the mode to receive this so the spiritual practice for this chapter is that you do a form of journaling, that's writing down. The question to ask is um, one way life loves me right now is. So you fill in the blank, you give 10 responses to this statement and you do 15 minutes a day for 7 days. So with this, you look at the list that you have created and you let the fact sink in that life loves you. So I like to end this video with a quote. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. And when the receiver is ready, the gift appears. Hope you get some value out of the video. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video.